The body of a nun found remarkably well-preserved. It made headlines in both Catholic and secular media. Reporter Catherine Hadro traveled to the abbey that pilgrims flooded to see what many have called potentially miraculous. Though any confirmation of that will not be known for many years. We take a look at her report. <laughs> Tucked away in rural Missouri, the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, live a hidden life. Their abbey typically filled with angelic sounds of either song or silence. But in these past few weeks, there's been a new buzzing ballad of excitement on their country grounds. We dropped everything to come here, changed all of our plans. <laughs> Thousands of pilgrims and curious spectators rearranged their Memorial Day weekend plans and descended upon Gower, Missouri, to see the unearthed body of the late sister Wilhelmina Lancaster, foundress of the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles. Roughly four years after her death, the sisters exhumed their foundress's body on the feast of St. Louis de Montfort, so her remains could be reinterred in their church. The sisters were told to expect to find bones. After a few days of digging, they lifted up the simple wooden coffin and quickly noticed a massive crack down the middle of the lid. So I looked and I kind of did a double take and I kind of stepped back. Did I just see what I think I saw? Because I think I just saw a completely full foot. And then I just... The sisters say there was a layer of mold covering Sister Wilhelmina's body. It took about two weeks for them to gently and precisely clean. And when they did, what was hidden was now obvious. Sister Wilhelmina's body was remarkably preserved, including her habit. I mean, of course they were marveling at the body. I mean, we had a, a coroner here and physicians and yeah. But then it kind of got to the, the habit and they were just dumbfounded dumbfounded. This, this is not possible. Word began to spread about the Missouri nun who was not embalmed, but appeared to be incorrupt. The people poured in. This just gives us the proof to me that what I've believe, been believing is real. Sister Wilhelmina is now being kept in a glass display case where visitors can still see her. Now that Sister Wilhelmina's body has been placed in a glass case here in the Abbey, visiting pilgrims are invited to take up to a teaspoon of dirt from her original gravesite. Bishop James Johnston of Kansas City St. Joseph issued a statement that no official church process has been initiated to determine if Sister Wilhelmina is a saint or worthy of veneration. He said it's understandable if people are driven by faith to see her mortal remains in remarkable condition but cautioned that, quote, visitors should not touch or venerate her body or treat them as relics. The case of Sister Vilmina is fascinating. Michael O'Neill, known as the Miracle Hunter, is host of EWTN's They Might Be Saints. This is a very rare case of a near perfectly preserved uh, corpse. O'Neill says there have been fewer than 200 cases of incorruptibility in the church. Incorruptibility is not an official sign taken by the church as a miracle for sainthood, but is a sign of God's grace shown upon a person. Mary Elizabeth Lancaster was born on Palm Sunday, 1924. She joined the Oblate Sisters of Providence in Baltimore as a young woman taking on the name Wilhelmina when she made her vows. At 70 years old, Sister Wilhelmina founded the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles in 1995 a constitutionally enclosed order with limited contact with guests <laughs> and the outside world. The order is centered around St. Benedict's Aura at Labora, or prayer and work, and is best known for its chart-topping Gregorian chant albums. At the age of 95, after having lived 75 years under religious vows, Sister Wilhelmina died on the Vigil of the Ascension 2019. And now her hidden body and her hidden life is being shared with the world. The first word that comes to my mind is lovable. Oh, yes. Just lovable. In their first television news interview since Sister Wilhelmina's body was exhumed, Mother Abbess Cecilia Snell, the community's first abbess, and Sister Scholastica Radel tell us about their foundress, whom they knew for about the last 20 years of her life. You know, you can think of a, of a holy person as, you know, they just keep their hands folded and they say their prayers and they don't, 
you know, they never step out of line, so to speak. But boy, she had spunk, she had character. A descendant of slaves, it's believed Sister Wilhelmina could be the first African American to be found in corrupt. Look at this woman, she is an African American and looking around at all her daughters, we're all white. We are all the children of the same father. And um, she speaks to charity. I mean, this, this is a unifying moment for everybody. While at this point we have more questions than answers, might Sister Wilhelmina be declared incorrupt? Might her life be considered saintly in the future? The Benedictine Sisters of Mary have one hope that fuels their faith, that what is now seen points us to the unseen. Reporting from Gower, Missouri, Katherine Hadro, EWTN News, In-Depth.